Hi, I'm Dami from eLearning Channel Museum. In this video, we're going to learn what is the chromatic scales and how to play it in proper fingering for the chromatic scales. Chromatic scale is consists of half steps. So do you know the half step? Yes. Between the black key and white key, the closest key. And if there is no black and white key between, then the next white key is the half step. So in music, half step is the closest key. In piano, it's really easy to tell because you can go black and white and black and white and white, white and black and white again. So this is the half step. It's hard to see it, but if you see the piano hammers, if it's a half step, they go right next to each other. Otherwise, if it's not half step, then hammers a skip. Just like leaving that key out. So, chromatic scale is consists of half step. But there is certain fingering for the chromatic scales. Basically, between black key and white key, you need to play with one three. Some people said one, two is easier. Yes, maybe, but we have to think about playing the white keys too. So for the best fingerings for the chromatic scale is one, three, one, three between black and white key. And white key is one, two, three. Can you see? And then after that, three to one, three, one, three, one, two, three, one, three. One definitely and then one to three. So between white key and black key is one to three. So whenever you see E F doesn't have any black keys, then one to three. Where is it more? B C. Yes, that one is one to three. And E F F sharp is one to three. And going B C. All these are one to three. Except these, the last of Black keys and white keys, one, three. You see? So one, three, one, three, two, one, three, one, three, one, three, and then two, one. That way we can connect very smooth. So basic fingering for the chromatic scale is one, three, one, three, one, two, three. One, three, one, three, one, two, three. One, three, one, three, one, two, three. Got it? Then now let's see the first exercise. Now, if you're looking at the score, wow, you will see lots of sharps and flats, right? It seems like really confusing, but actually it's simple. Now, let's see, what is the first note? C, C, let's start with the one and C sharp. So we go that one, but with finger number three and D, definitely just right next and D sharp, so which is going, yes, the next black keys, and E, F, definitely one, two, because it's a white key, and F sharp, with finger number three. And the next note is G, G sharp, yes, there is two black keys, which one? Definitely going up, is a sharp, so, that note with finger number three, A, the next one, and A sharp, which is, yeah, the right side black keys, again, and B, C. So from C to C, we're just coming up half step up. But the fingering is one, three, one. So if we play it fast, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, three, four, that's the rhythm. It seems like really confusing, but you, if you know the rules for the chromatic scale, it's pretty simple. You just need to practice, your finger need to memorize the fingerings and positions. Now let's go off to just C to C chromatic scale once again. Start with the C. 
and C sharp. Do you see it? Yes, that's it too. And then the next phrase is start from the C again and going up. Is one again. Three, one. And then you stop and C again and to count. So literally first line is from C2 going up to two C's. Now what about the second line? Yes, coming down, literally the same. So exactly the same finger, we're just coming down. Now start with the C, but what is the fingering? Two, because the C is, do you see it? So this is like this fingering, C is Starting with the two and B, B flat. So three, one, three, G, F sharp, and F is finger number two again because it's a white key and E, E flat, D, D flat, and C. Now, the only difference is when you go up, we write this note as a C sharp, so this is going up. And when we come down, that note we wrote D flat. It's exactly the same note. It can be read as a C sharp or D flat. What about that note? E flat and D sharp. Yes. So exactly the same chromatic scale if we see it by the piano, it's just coming down and going up. But when we write in the music, the way of writing is different. When we go up, we write that note as a C sharp. But when we go down, we write it as a D flat. You can write as E sharp too. But basically when music goes up, we write it sharp. When music goes down, we write it flat. We prefer to write it flat. So basically the exercise one is going half step up from C to all the way to C here and left hand from C to all the way down to there. The way of writing seems different, but the way of you play is the same. Now let's start and see how it goes from the very beginning to the end. Start slow. One and two and three and four. And C, C sharp, B, B sharp, E, F, F sharp. One, and two, and, and then again. is exactly the same. Now I will play it fast for the exercise one. One, two, three, go. One, two. One, two. 
in the song. So if you memorize it, whenever you see these patterns, you can just play it. So practice all the chromatic skills every day, like at least five times to seven times.